Good afternoon, I'm Peyton Johnson. And I'm Nick Russo, and this is Wolfpack News for Thursday, November 20th, 2014. Attention all students who ride the activity bus. You must have a purple activity bus pass in order to board and ride the bus. You will receive the pass from the tutors, your activity sponsor, or your teacher. Without a purple pass, you will not be allowed to ride the activity bus. The activity buses will leave school from door 16 located at the bus loop in the back of the building. Any student wishing to work in the LRC after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays must obtain a pass from their subject teacher starting starting what work the student has to be working on prior to their visit during the LRC. Talk Day 2 is next Tuesday. We have a talk coordinator and participant in the studio to give us more information about what the day is all about. Wolfpack News reporter Alexa Schleckel will be here with more. I'm here with Gabby Love, talk coordinator, and Kendall Baker, who attended Talk. Thanks for being here today. Tell us what Talk is all about, Gabby. Um, pretty much talk is a day-long retreat with um, pretty much the whole student body, teachers, students get together and bond and just have a great day. It's a great experience. And Kendall, what was day one like and what did you gain from the experience? Uh, day one was actually really fun and this was my first year doing it and um, you learn a lot about people that you probably never talked to before and uh, I advise people to go on Tuesday because it's an experience. And lastly, Gabby, how can students get involved next week if they'd like to attend talk? Um, you can find um, any of the coordinators, me, Kristen, Caleb, Alex, uh, Andrea, or go to Student Services and get a form for Mrs. Caney. Just sign up. We need people ASAP. Well, that wraps it up. Thank you both for being here. Now back to the Anchor Desk. Thanks, Alexa. All students and mathletes, there is a meeting today after school at 2.30 in F327. Bring $10 for your t-shirt if you ordered one. There is an anime club meeting today after school in room E131. Attention students and staff, Oswego East student-run news magazine, The Edge, is now on Twitter. Follow The Edge at Oswego East Edge to receive sports, arts, and entertainment, school, and world news on your home feed. Mandarin Club will meet tomorrow in room A221. A sign-up sheet will be outside room J103 for those who are non-club members and want to join and cook. Bring $5 to participate. And now it's time for sports. Here's Riley. The boys and girls bowling teams are hosting their first annual strikeout cancer night on December 17th. You may buy a strikeout cancer t-shirt until Friday during the lunch period. T-shirts are $15 and all the profits will be donated to the American Cancer Society. Interested in a three-on-three -three basketball tournament? If so, we'll be holding a one-year this Sunday, November 23rd. If you have a team on three, it will cost $15 per team or bring in three cans to donate, and it will only cost $10 a team. All proceeds will go to Wolfpack. You can sign up to participate during your lunch today. Girls Swimming will be competing in the state swim meet in Evanston. OE girls include Jessica James, Macy McCullum, and Alyssa Sugarman. Good luck. Good luck, girls. That's all for sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. Thanks, Riley. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Peyton Johnson. And I'm Nick Russo. Join us again tomorrow here on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day. No, I know that I can't make you stay. But where's your heart? But where's your heart? But where's your mind?